verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 20. And it says this, it says, Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. This, of course, is the few days now after the resurrection. Easter Sunday was a few days ago. Can you imagine what the disciples were thinking and feeling, having seen Jesus alive, having those disciples experiencing him on the road to Emmaus on Easter Sunday. And they're now beginning to realise, actually, hmm, and those men and the women as well are now witnessing, this is what Jesus said he was going to do. He was going to raise from the dead, giving them a great sense of hope. They went on and Jesus went to see more people and more people. And then the good news has spread throughout the area. Eventually, Jesus is taken back up into heaven, but that's in another few weeks time. But they pin their hope and they put their trust in this risen Lord Jesus. And because they witness it and they even went to the death believing this stuff we can say today that christ has indeed been raised from the dead why would disciples make that up propagate the lie through if it wasn't actually true and then be put to death still believing what they said was really true it's, it's you just don't do that so therefore then we can indeed say christ has been raised from the dead and that's the hope and the glory that we're going to face. That a risen Christ, risen from the dead, indeed raised. Words just fail me as I say how wonderful that actually is.